Good morning, everybody. I'm Lonnie. Welcome back to the shed. Candace, Candace is like, uh, why did you start the camera right now? I'm chewing. She's over here eating her toast, so I'm not going to aim the camera at her just yet. <laughs> Pip Dog is down here. Pip Dog! With his fashionable uh, attire. Morning, Pip. He does not like the camera, does he? When I aim the camera at him, he just doesn't do anything. Well, we've got a busy good day morning. today. Yeah. Oh, you ready? <laughs> Hi. Ready? Hey, good morning, Candace. Good morning. Uh, we've got a busy day today. Um, I, think, I think Candace has... You still had box resizers to pack from the other day, too, didn't you? From Friday. Not too many, though. And then oh, we maybe, sold up a bunch on Saturday. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe 12 left to go from the other day. Yeah. And then she has, I think, around 40... 45 or something so friday any orders up through friday will definitely go out today anything after that maybe today maybe tomorrow yeah that's right yeah it depends on when the mail carrier gets here no i think i think most of them will get out today yeah and if the, in, any that don't like you said get out tomorrow yeah but uh i think and most today being monday <laughs> most if not all yeah i think they might all get out um because she's got like 50 She's got a total of like 57 box resizers behind her right now. Um, we did shut down box resizer orders for a few days until we get new stickers. Just because we don't have enough stickers uh, to go with them. And I have to have stickers for other orders that go out. So just to just wait in a few days. It is going to be a brand new design. It's going to be a bigger sticker too. Um, it's going to be... I don't know if I have any three inch stickers up here. But the old sticker right here, this is a two by two by two. Or not, not, no, it's not three dimensional. It's two by two. And uh, the new sticker is going to be three by three. So looking forward to getting those. Also got some new cards printed up. Those are on the way too. Um, what else? Oh got on my side i've got 41 ebay items going out today and <laughs> it's going to be a lot of packing today the the, the mail carrier is going to be beeping out there for a while when she scans the packages uh, as far as listing goes we're going to continue to update this with y'all every day uh, we've currently listed 25 out of 620 um, goal listings for the month we had a pretty good day on Friday. We did 21. Saturday and Sunday, we just got a few up just to get something up. Uh, what, a total of four listings over the weekend. Four auctions, I believe. So, um, that's looking good. We'll, I'm hoping we can put a nice little number up today. We'll find out. Um, oh, got something interesting in the mail the other day. Guess what that is? You'll never guess. This is from Isaac DeLedger on, um, on eBay. He sent me, this is a huge pack of utility blades. These are the blades that actually fit the box resizers. Isn't it like over 400 or something? It's four, yeah, it's 450. I'm using these as a promo item to start an eBay account and restart another. And I'm selling them in 450 packs. Please let me know how well these shipped. Thanks again for the videos. You have a great team. So, yeah, they, they ship fine. Um, he shipped them in padded flat rate. Yeah, pa padded or legal flat rate. I can't remember which. And, um, yeah, they made it fine. They're in this big plastic thing here. And then there's 450 basically a lifetime supply of razor blades here <laughs> for me so uh yeah thank you very much to isaac do appreciate it i got a bunch of uh i think i'm gonna start with makeup orders and give candace a chance to finish her toast and do emails and stuff uh while i pull makeup orders and i'll be back in just a bit all right candace is finishing the ones up from saturday or you just finished the ones those up from saturday from those friday. are a uh, friday okay those are the few that didn't go out yet, so they're going out now. And I'm about to print up the batch from after that, Saturday, Sunday. 
And uh, somebody made a note that they wanted to wait for the new stickers. We're getting new stickers, like the pack-in stickers, like this. We're getting new of these that we put in with the order. But what we're not getting... Are the stickers that go on the knives, these. Right. Not, not yet. Not yet. We have to use what we have in stock first because they're a little pricey. Um, so we're going to use those up first and then we'll order with the new logo. But we have to, like, we, we're going to be using this sticker at least through all these knives that we have because we had we bought last week we bought a thousand of these a thousand of the old stickers so we're not even we're not we even call close them stickers i guess you would call them labels well they're vinyl whatever box okay. knife label yeah. yeah so anyway just want to clarify these will be new these will not for a while right whenever hey whenever they are whenever we do have the new ones we'll put a new image on big cartel yep showing with the new ones yeah we're the big cartel image with the box resizer that's exactly what you're going to get that's why we suspended sales right. for now yeah because we're expecting the new stickers in about a week maybe sooner hopefully hopefully okay i've knocked my pile down i've got 27 left now which means i must have packed yeah this is all the makeup going out. Makeup did pretty good over the past few days. So happy about that. Candace is moving along here. How you doing? Wow. Look at that. Look at this pile. She's doing good. Time to pull some eBay orders now. This, I was telling Candace a minute ago, this, this was kind of a sneaky good weekend for us because sold a ton of box resizers. And eBay was really good. You know, thank goodness we did some shipping on Saturday. Do you know how snowed under we'd be right now, Candace? We've are like as it is, we got eighty things going out today. It's nuts. Yep, I'm glad I got a head start on box resizers. And you got some eBay stuff shipped out. All right, time for eBay. First up, this is something I've had for a pretty good while. I bought it in Tennessee. Um, hey Lonnie and Candace, my husband Nathan and I watch your show every night. Nathan sells on eBay, Dr. Shock 19, and he is inspired by you and the Cincinnati picker, John. Uh, we also love your podcast. Thank you very much. Candace was actually on the last podcast too, but you know that. Uh, we love watching you, Candace. You're both awesome people. We look forward to every new video. Thank you for all you do, Sienna and Nathan. P.S. I've been watching this medicine ball for a while and you're storing on videos. It'll be weird not seeing it on that shelf anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, oh wait, I'm, I'm saying the name wrong. It's Sirena. Sorry about that, Sirena. Uh, or Serena? No, it's probably Serena. Sorry again. It's S I. Well, I mean, I've never seen. You see it? I would say Ser Serena. Serena. Okay. Yeah. So, thank y'all very much for watching, guys, and I hope y'all like. <laughs> oh. This uh, medicine ball? What what else is it called, Candace? That's all I've ever heard of. It's just a medicine ball? Okay. It's, Isn't that a weird? Is it 12 pounds? Yeah, it's 12 pounds. Pick it up. Ready? Don't, no, I'm holding the camera, please. <laughs> Let's catch yeah. this. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 25 bucks plus shipping on top for that. I better pack it or it's going to roll off the bench. Uh, let's see. Heather bought... Lego Star Wars Jen Urso from the Cube. Aha. Right here. Huh. We just watched something last week with that actress in it. What yeah, was what it? was that? And I kept going, man, I know her. From oh, it's, it, it's the uh, Clooney movie, right? Yeah, yeah. On, on Netflix. I can't remember the name of it. It's, um, a, it's about um, like apocalypse type movie. Yeah, it was okay. Well, it, we started watching it thinking it was a series. And I'm like, man, Lonnie, this episode is really long. You know what it was? It was really freaking depressing is what it was. Yeah. But it was okay. It was worth watching, I guess. I had a good little twist at the end. Yeah. But thank you very much, uh, Heather. I do appreciate it. Aaron bought a sweet rod. <laughs> yeah. Sweet ride? A sweet rod. Oh. It's also a sweet ride, though. Uh, Japanese exclusive from the Molly Shelf. Okay, Molly Shelf. Where's Molly Shelf, Candace? Any idea? I would say down the hall. 
Uh, where are you at, Molly Shelf? I like doing this because it gives people get to uh, complain about the shelves not being numbered and lettered yet. <laughs> <laughs> so it thank, has to be over there. thank you very much, Aaron. Oh, and bonus, Aaron. Um, I didn't have these at the time, but I found these books. And let's see, what is this? That's a Barracuda. And look, I have the Barracuda book. That's a collector's book that goes with that car. Nice. So, so that'll be shipping with it too. Cool. So thanks a bunch, and I hope you like the car. Uh, let's do one more car. So this is the last, if y'all been watching for a while, I made a pretty big buy. For me, this was a huge buy at the time. Monster buy. Because I paid $3,600 for 200 and something Hot Wheels. Uh, some were loose and some were on card. And um, it ended up being really good. Like, I didn't know how I was going to do. I kind of trusted my guy on that deal. And it went really well. I, I think the listings were a little over nine grand uh, that I paid $3,600 for. So really good profit it only took a few days to list them all and uh, easy to ship all that good stuff so i just sold the reason i'm telling you all this i just sold the last one um let's see what is that is that a nova yeah this is a supernova? 66 supernova yep this little car can you believe that candace what is that song oh this champagne supernova champagne. oasis oasis <laughs> But this little car sold for $218. Sweet. I almost think you could have bought at some point a used Nova for that. <laughs> Not recently, but back in the day, you probably could have bought one of these Not like real cars. Like that. Anyway, this is the last uh, last of the little die cast cars. So that deal is over and done with. So before, before uh, fees, about $5,400 profit. Um, of course, fees are going to come up to around a grand. So we're looking at about $4,400 profit on that buy. How you do, doing over here, Candace? Oh, you are? Mm -hmm. They're all going out today then. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Steve. <laughs> Where's Steve from? Danville, Kentucky. Uh, is that note in the package? See, you came over here and I, distracted me. You, no. <laughs> I was doing good. Okay. It's always the last ones I mess one up. I ha every time. Every time. As soon, uh, whenever I asked her and then she looked at the one she was working on, I'm like, oh, well, that's supposed to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't find good help these days. It's always like fun at the end. It's like, yes. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh, God. She's probably packed, what, 60 of these things today? Oh boy. So anyways, um, I sold, I put this stuff on sale, these phone jacks and stuff, super cheap. Um, all these together are $22.48 plus shipping on top. And I've had these so long. Check this out. A lot of y'all don't know about the other channel. This is Garage Flips channel. That's my first channel, I guess. Uh, where I show the sourcing. It used to be my only channel until I started up uh, Shed Flips. But this is the video where I got those. She took me to the barn. All right, good morning. Everyone. Somebody worked for the telephone company. Look, it says, take me. Take, take me. This, this. And so these were in the house, and I, I was taking them, and she's like, if you want more... I have a bunch more of these out in the barn. So that's when I got, she took me to the barn from. Yeah, sure. That's what y'all did in the barn. Candace wasn't there, so she's a little suspicious. Thousands of free items at a garage sale, if y'all are interested in that. But that's where this stuff came from. I finally slashed the prices on it. And um, they, this stuff sold. I have more, too. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to share that story. I'm going to pull. This one's interesting. As soon as I find it, I can't find it. <laughs> Actually, I, do, I know where it's at. It's back here. It's getting a few extra steps in. Yeah, it's up here. Okay, this phone 
which I need to dust off because I've had it for a while, is actually uh, used as a prop in an April Fool's video we did in 2019. Remember that, Candace? Was yep. it 2019? I don't know. I'll have to go back on It look. wasn't last. It wasn't 2020 because I didn't do an April Fool's video in 2020. It had to be 2019. Either 19 or 18. No, it was 19 because it was in here. Okay. It That's happened right. in... That's right. How long have I had this shed? I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking I bought this shed last year, but no. No. It's been almost two years. Yeah. Oh my gosh, time flies so fast. My goodness. But anyways, this... I'm going back to the other channel again. Yeah, check it out. It's a fun video. It's a funny video, okay? Um, it's April Fool's video, okay? So this says one year ago. Let me see what the date says here. Well, hello, everyone. And April, yeah, April 1st, 2019. I didn't realize I'd had the shed that long. Mm -hmm. but, but in this video, go ahead. Look how long my hair is. I know. I was noticing that. You look nice. Thank you. But yeah, there's the shed line right there. Yeah. Joke was, um, if you paid like $1,000 a month or something, I can't remember. We were like, we would be like your consultant service. Yeah, that was, then you have like 24-7 access. The top tier had 24-7 access to the shed line and Candace would answer your questions. All right, let's see. Let's check it out. It's a fun video. Yeah, let me see if I can find one call. I don't know. It might be. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here, let's see. Let's see take Candace take a call. Candace will probably be your friend, too. <laughs> We're kind of a package deal. Shedline. Shedline, this is Candace. It's okay. Wait, wait. Calm down. Hold on. This person is freaking out. They really need you. Who is it? Ron Scarberry. Wait, wait, hang on. Hang on. Scarberries? Ron Scarberry. Oh, Ron's only silver level. He, he called me this morning. He already used his call. See if you can get an upgrade. <clears throat> Mr. Scarberry, so I was just looking through our <laughs> records and I noticed that you've already used up your call for this month. <laughs> However, we can fix that. All you need to do is upgrade to uh, gold level or platinum level, and we can take your call. Okay, your loss. <laughs> you want to do it? Oh, Darn. Okay. Well, that's that's where that's where you really get a lot of value out of the gold and platinum. <laughs> God, that is so cringe, Candace. <laughs> Anyways, man. I'm going to link, that video is so funny. Yeah. I, I think, like that's one of my favorite videos that's I've great. ever done. <laughs> Look, it doesn't even have 10,000 views. <laughs> oh man, go, go watch it. You'll get a laugh. Like it's totally different from what we've ever done before. But uh, the shed line is now gone though, because I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping on top. And I took the shed line sticker off the other day. I do need to dust it off. Because like I said, that video is almost two years old. And I had the shed line at that point. So I've had it listed for a while. And Pippin finally got out of bed. <laughs> Candace, Candace dressed him up today. Your mommy dressed you today? He's been cold, so I thought maybe that would help. It's not cold in here now. I had to turn the heater off. Yeah. Hey, you like your shirt, bud? Who are you barking at? Ain't nobody out there. He must have been comfortable. He took a good little nap. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Stretch it out. Stretch it out, boy. All right, back to bed, Pip. See you later. What? What, what you want, a biscuit? Get you get a biscuit, huh? Oh man, we just watched that. Um, we just watched that April Fool's video. Oh my God, we were dying. That's so funny. I don't know if I would make that now. I should, but I don't know if I would or not. It's pretty funny though because Candace is talking about quitting her job. <laughs> and well that was almost two years ago yeah did you think then that like that would actually be true no it all right so more stuff to pull sold a from fish sold a mighty crusaders the evil action figure the evil is the name of the action figure okay let me go find him 
these things are old and this is some of the stuff fish shelf it's in here this is some of the stuff that you hush it up dog i'm, I'm filming and uh -uh, no sir See, nobody out there, boy. So this um, is called the Evil Sting. Sold for $29.99 plus shipping on top. Small's drawer sold the Mustang Ranch Stud Farm. Asked for Howard keychain thing, vintage. Sold that for $9.99 plus shipping on top. And then Kevin bought this for his mother. Kevin's bought a bunch of stuff. Car, usually Hot Wheels, but sometimes a few things for his mother too. This time he made an offer of $6 on this. This, uh, what line is this from? Sarah's Attic. And back in the day, mid-90s, this sold for $75. Can you believe that? So thank you very much to Kevin. I really do appreciate it. And I hope she likes the figurine. Let's see. Let's pull another thing. Uh, sold from Small's Drawer. A master case. Ron, what, what is it called? Who makes this? Ronson. Master case uh, cigarette lighter and cigarette case. All in one. And I didn't put it, but I think that's Harley Davidson. But I wasn't sure. I wasn't able to find a Harley logo that just looked just like that. So I didn't even mention it. Uh, also, I was a little concerned if I put Harley and this wasn't officially licensed. It could be like a, um, what do you call that? Uh, I can't remember the, that, lit, that, a Vero, a Vero violation or whatever for violating their copyright or whatever. So, or their trademark. Uh, so anyways, I got, how much for that? $10.99 plus shipping on top for that. And then Lang bought a Batman Returns Bat Missile. This is one of the things that was supposed to be listed and wasn't. I mean, I saw it on the shelf every day for like six months. I'm like, why is that not selling? Well, it's kind of hard for somebody to buy stuff when it's not listed. For whatever reason, it wasn't listed. But uh, Lang bought it $9.99 plus shipping on top. Thank you very much, Lang. Hope you enjoy putting that together. Sold this NFL button display. It's pretty cool. I, the buttons you can kind of find pretty fairly easily on eBay, but I couldn't find this display just like this anywhere. It even looked on Worth Point. Uh, so I put it up at auction and it ended up going like really well. $77 plus shipping on top for that. I was thrilled. Uh, Candace, you sold your little uh, Native American baby doll. Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't find any like that. Yeah. So. She listed it pretty. Uh, $7.99. What, was that free ship or something? What is that? I think we accidentally did free shipping on that one. <laughs> Good thing it's not big. No, it doesn't matter. It's it's fine. Um, yeah, no, they didn't pay shipping. <laughs> Seven ninety nine free ship on this. One thing I've noticed is that if we're both logged into eBay at the same time, it'll save. It'll like, and I use free shipping on a listing, then it might put free shipping on her next listing. Yep. And very rarely I'll use free shipping, but that's probably what happened. Luckily, it was on a cheap listing. Mm -hmm. um, ben bought three compacts. Three, oh, here they are right here, stacked on top of each other. Three compacts at auction. They're pretty cool looking. Uh, for $26 plus shipping on top. Thank you very much to Ben. Do appreciate it. Uh, Sean bought puffy stickers, car puffy stickers. Another somewhat larger item. Put it on top of here too. There we go. Had some big flat stuff going out. So I put it up there. Uh, this sold for how much? 
that sold for $28 plus shipping on top. And uh, yeah, this is just an old retail display of stick puffy stickers of cars. And I guess they would sell them and then just tear them off of here. Made in Japan. So. I remember that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. At um, kind of like gas stations and little convenience stores at the um, register. Yeah. Just something that the kid can say, Mom, can I have one? Yeah, these are probably like a quarter a piece or something. Who knows? Yeah. So, anyway, thank you very much, Sean. Do appreciate it. Uh, let me pack these four up and we'll grab some more. So, this is when the teamwork is really nice. I have a really heavy shipping day. Uh, so did Candace. She got all the box, box resizers packed. But uh, I've still got about 10 more things that need to go out. So I'm still packing. But while I'm still packing, uh, Candace just completed her second, second listing <laughs> with her little pew pew guys. <laughs> so that, that, is the, that is the power of having both of us in here. If she wasn't here, Candace, if you weren't here... I would get zero listings today and I would spend the entire day packing orders all day. There's no doubt mm -hmm. because we spent half the day already and I would have probably, I might've had to work late. Actually, I probably would have been packing orders last night and we didn't do any work last night. So right. yeah, this is big. This is really big where, where listings are getting up while on a extremely heavy shipping day. Pippin shelf. Is that over here? That's where I just put that other guy. Okay, I'm Which grabbing. I'm grabbing your thing. What is that? This. Yes. It's a display for an action figure for Human Torch. Yeah. So it's just it's just a little piece. There's two of them. Make sure you grab the right one. Oh, this is like the translucent looking one. Yeah. Oh, I see. It has a place for a screw. You can hang it on the wall or just stand it on a desk or whatever. You don't have to sell it now. It's already sold. <laughs> Okay. But wait, there's more. It comes apart <laughs> in two pieces. $4.99 plus shipping on top for that guy. And then Cedric bought some shoes. You and your wife in the shed taking on the world is the best inspiration there is. Uh, I watch every video on the commercials. Except You don't have to watch. You can hit skip. <laughs> um, except the long ones. Yeah, some of them are like... I I have... like I'll, I'll make a big, big suggestion to you guys. Uh, I've had YouTube premium for years, probably five years or, uh, back in the day it was called red or something. Um, that is a, if you watch a lot of YouTube, I highly recommend YouTube red. I don't even know what it costs now, 10, 12 bucks or whatever. Hot, big time worth it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, so anyway, yes, yeah, Cedric bought a pair of shoes from the Pippin shelf. Candace, we also had quite a few request regarding the pippin shelf the requests are to keep the pippin shelf well, you better start pulling them weight around here <laughs> he's already quick today yeah Kenneth said he better start pulling his weight around here he, yeah he's about the laziest employee I've ever seen in my life he comes in runs straight to the bed he gets up and interrupts a video or two, <laughs> and then he goes back to bed. Yep. And then later on, he'll be crying to to get out of here and go home. Ready to clock out. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, a lot of people like the Pippin shelf, so we might have to hang on to it. Uh, let's see what size are these? They even have a size on them. They're supposedly size ten wide. That looks about right, I guess. Huh? I don't think you would have made that size up. Nah, that's right. I just held it up up to my shoe and it looks fairly accurate. So thank you very much, Cedric. Really appreciate it. Uh, Stacy Adams, non-marking slip resistant. These are nice shoes. If you have a job where you have to wear like a dressy type shoe, then this is a good one to wear. You they look pretty comfy. It. You already sold it. Oh, I already sold it. Never mind. He already bought it and I don't have any more in stock. Let me move on. <laughs> Thanks again, Cedric. Okay, this was a big sale. Um, these Marvel cards sold. They're right here. It's not the whole binder. It's only like a few pages of the binder, really. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, it's the front. These 
all the way up to 66. And I did do a video showing each card very close up uh, so you could see exactly what they're getting because I knew I knew this set had a pretty good bit of value. Uh, sold that for $450 plus shipping on top. That was a good one. That's funny. The last thing I packed was $5. This was $450. <laughs> we'll sell them all though. Cheap, expensive, whatever. It all makes up for a good sales day if you have a nice mix. Uh, let's see. What else does I sell? Oh, this is cool. Um, Wendy bought the Articulated Witch. Where's that at, Candace? It's on the bookshelf. I kind of folded her up a little bit. Well, I, not folded. I wouldn't fold it. But I just swung like her limbs in or whatever. See. Here she is right here. Here we go. Yeah. Really nice shape. Wendy did leave a message. Here we go. There. Yeah, see? Perfect condition almost. Or really, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, love your channel. Glad your better half has joined you out there in the shed. My eBay store is Kaztopia. Been flipping on eBay for a long time just for fun. My witch won't be for resale, though. I've wanted her since you first unboxed them in your vid. Go Tigers. G-E-A-U-X Tigers. Wendy. So thank you very much, Wendy. Appreciate it. Hope you like the witch. Uh, another thing from the bookshelf. I've been putting a lot of stuff on the bookshelf just because it's close. <laughs> um, some Valentine cards. Let's see. Are they up here? Yes, they are. Here we go. These ALF uh, 36 plus two bonus cards on back. Alf Valentine sold those for $17.99 plus shipping on top. So the Alf stuff is moving, you know. Um, sold a Final Four program. I took a best offer on this thing for $4 plus shipping. And now I'm wondering if I even have it anymore. I do. It wasn't in great shape either. You see the spine there. Uh, this is from 1986, though. So, pretty old. Took a best offer of $4 plus shipping on top for that. So, let me get these four packed. Okay, Candace used Google Lens. And she could spend a little more time on it. Or we could just get some help from you guys. Yep. So, I'll get everything from um, Tony from Scarface to some kind of Twilight Zone ventriloquist. Um, who is this guy? Wait, hang on, let me see if we can get a focus on him. There you go. Y'all know who this who this fella is? We don't. Nope, there's no markings on it either. Well, none that we could see. There's gotta be a marking. Ever, nobody. I pulled at the skirt and didn't see anything. A skirt? <laughs> it's not a skirt. You looked under his skirt? <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Yeah, who is that guy? Michael bought from Pop A some Dr. Scholl's arch supports. Uh, women's 9 S6. Pop A shelf S6. This should be over here. <clears throat> Gonna have to get all these packages out of here in a minute. Pop A S6. Boom, right here. Thank you very much, Michael. In South Carolina, we appreciate it. This box of this box of phone jacks sold for twelve forty nine plus shipping on top. I'm just gonna send them, and that's a regional A box. That's a good deal because they they fit right in there. Um, bookshelf George Harrison slide from 1974 S two. Okay, it's gonna be in this little. This little plastic bin here looking for s2 and I also put a gh there we go also put a gh in the corner just to, to mean george harrison it's kind of a double check that sold for 24.99 plus shipping on top 
on sale, I believe. Sold a, man, I sold this really cheap. Sold a cordless phone for $6.99 on the Pippin shelf. Sold a cordless phone for $6.99 on the Pippin shelf. That was on sale also. This was kind of a blowout kind of deal here for sure. $6.99 plus shipping on top. Bought this at a garage sale. Probably had about, I don't know, I don't even know, maybe three bucks or something into it. Not going to be a money maker, but it's out of here. Uh, Elton bought a Sasquatch White Wendigo Variant Loose 2006. Those are Candace's words, not mine, because she listed that. Uh, mm -hmm. Pippin Shelf Sasquatch. Elton, right? Isn't that his name? Huh? Dude. Yeah, he is. Not Elton. Well, I mean, he well, might Elton look... might be a cool looking dude yeah. too. This is him here, right? Yeah. That's him. Yep. Yeah. Nineteen ninety nine plus shipping on top. Thank you very much, Elton, for watching and for your order. Hope you like it. You better buy me. I'm the kingpin. Is that who that is? Yeah. What's he worth? Uh, eighteen bucks maybe. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's missing a cane. Huh? You should have a cane with him. Okay. No. Those those action figures are actually worth a little more than I was thinking they would be. Um let's see, this sold at 430 something this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it too. Let's see. Candace, you wanna go pull this one for me? What you got? This is Hasbro 2007 Marvel Legends X-Men series Colossus. Yep. This guy. What shelf is he on? Pip <laughs> Pip dog. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. This sold for This sold for 16.99 plus shipping on top. And that is everything that I'm pulling today. I'll come back. We've got mounds and mounds of boxes. I need to hurry up though cuz it's Really, the the mail late the mail carrier letter carrier could show up any minute now. Our Candace is inside eating lunch already. It's just give y'all an idea of the timeline here. She just walked out. It's 1:45. Uh, we've got all the orders ready to go out. Like I said, this is a busy day. This is including box resizers. Probably looking at about 90 orders here total. Um, the box sizes are real small, of course, and then have a lot of smaller makeup stuff and things like that. So really good, really good sales weekend. And like I said earlier, the cool thing is Candace already got five listings up too. So 143, I'm probably take about a half hour, uh, get back out here for, I'll call it 2.30 even. Then we'll have about three more hours to work. And I'm gonna have to spend about an hour editing video I'll have two hours today of solid listing and Candace will have more than that. So uh, even on like, this would have killed my day before uh, having to pack all this stuff. That would have been all I'd do. So, so it's really nice to know that we're gonna be getting some listings up today too. Okay, we are kicking butt today. Look, we've each got six listings up for 12 total. It is 3.30. Candace is listing some, as the Brits like to say, Daleks. Although they should be Daleks or Daleks. These are drones. They're drones? That's what it says. Okay. And we're having a, just a good day today. Especially considering all the shipping we had to do today. Candace got a little jump on listing and uh, I'm following up too, so. And then later on, on well, about an hour or so, Candace is gonna stop listing and relabel all the shelves. And I am going to stop listing and edit video. So hopefully we'll get to our 20 by 4.30. That's the plan. Or more if we get more. But uh, yeah, pretty smooth day today. Pippin even in here? I can't ever yes. tell. <laughs> 
Earlier he wasn't in here for like a couple hours and I didn't even know it because it's the same. Either way, <laughs> Pippin, are you okay, son? <laughs> Just chilling, huh? Man, look at him. He is asleep. So, uh, how's your day going? Good. It's been, it seems like, I mean, it seems like it's been a long day, but it hasn't felt like it. Does that make sense? When I was packing those knives this morning, that seems like a long time ago. Mm-hmm. But it hadn't been like, oh, this day is dragging. I don't know. It's we've, been bit, we've been busy today. Yeah. <sighs> um, we've got, had a lot of packing to do. Got a lot of, um, we got quite a bit, bit of listings done. Not bad for, not bad given all the packing we did. Because we mm -hmm. both had a ton of packing. Yeah. So right now we're at 24. I'm about to go make some coffee. While Candace gets 25 out. Yep, one more little figure. So if we get 25 up on a day like today, then a day that ain't like today, like tomorrow, this, boy, that sounds really dumb. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we should be able to get 30 plus, right? Mm -hmm. Like if we're not packed, I packed till 1.30. Yep. And Candace packed, she packed a long time too, not so quite that long. how many did we have going out today? At 90, I think, or something. Yeah, something a stupid. crazy amount of packages. But tomorrow won't be like that. Right. For one thing, we don't have... No um, box knives right now. There are no box massages going out tomorrow. And another thing, I think I have 40-something eBay orders. I might have 10. <laughs> so we'll be listing in the morning. So. Yep. yep I'm was, about to um, get, my, get that little guy put up. And then I'm going to start relabeling the shelves. Yeah, and then later on I have to get a UPS, and I'm gonna bring all the yearbooks to to uh, Goodwill. And I know a lot of y'all are saying, "Well, you need you should offer them up to resellers." Look, if I can't sell them after years, I don't want to sell them to somebody else. I don't think it's worth it's not the, right. It ain't worth the postage. No, nope. it ain't worth the postage to send them to somebody else. And real like. There's some local resellers that could prob would probably want to take a shot at it, spend a dollar or whatever at Goodwill. I'll let them do that. And, you know, I know a lot of people just don't, like, anytime I've ever talked about giving stuff to Goodwill, people have said, oh, well, you should sell it, you should blah, blah, you should do this, you should do that. And I'm thinking, you know, all the stuff that we've bought at Goodwill, Yeah. I'm cool donating something to Goodwill every now and then. Yep. I mean, we've gotten some we've great. We've made money off of them. Big time. Yep. Big time money. Mm -hmm. I remember. You remember the, your best find there, Candace? You remember Scuba it? Scuba stuff. Scuba Pro. Yeah. Tell them about it. Do you remember? I just remember we were checking out and it was just sitting in a case right there. And I'm like, oh, what is this? What did, what, was, what did they ask for it? I don't know. It was like eight bucks or something. Yeah, it was a crazy low price. It had, it had two Scuba Pro regulators in it. And I ended up selling the two for like 800 friggin' dollars. And we were just checking out. Candace happened to spot it. So, I mean, I don't go there anymore because I haven't, I, I stopped finding stuff there. But I made so much money in the past off of that Goodwill that I feel perfectly good about, good about giving to them. Yep. Whenever I have something. So, what? What are you looking at? <laughs> You got a little jelly or something. Yeah, I do. It's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's been there all day. Y'all been looking at it this whole video. <laughs> I just noticed it. Thanks. Or I, or I would have told you, honey. Thanks for having my back again. <laughs> I still can't believe you let my hair look like that. For I, I guess video. I haven't really looked at you today, huh? <laughs> all right. Take us out. All right. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.